I was wondering for you, you know, when you get a CD and what, and even if you just see a band, what makes them stand out for you uh, as an artist or as a band? It's well, I'm, I'm lyrics. It's, it's totally different every time, and it's, it's totally a personal thing. It could be what works for your band might not work for someone else. It might be, it might be a great intro in the song. Like, it might be that, because I just said cool shirts, it always gets me interested that. Or it, it might be, um, it might, something might just sound completely horrible, it might just be pulled right into it. Like Steve said, it might be good lyrics, it might be a good title. It might be something as pathetic as the fact they come from Blackpool where I grew up, mm -hmm. and I'll always be biased to anybody who came, because I know how hard it is to get out of a town like that. Mm. So that, that, no, it, you just use that, that slip road off the... <laughs> <laughs> that's not yeah, a slip road, that's a motorway. <laughs> just just look, follow the tower, and that, that little slip road there, it's easy. But that, there's all different things that can get you interested in Sorry. a band. You know, it, and it, or it could be like the first demo, you're not, not interested, but the second or third one, yeah. you get interested in as well. Uh, or you might see them live, live or somebody it? else might tell you about them as well. I was going to say the thing. live thing, that how many times you, you, can you hear some, a band recorded and maybe not think much of it? Mm. And that, but you see the person, mm. that can be so important. Um, I, I always, can, I always watch the A lot of bands, I yeah. love drummers. I always watch the drummers, I don't know why, since, since I was young. And I, I'm a frustrated drummer, I think. Well, this is the worst this things is, to be than a this frustrated is just now, drummer. This is now just a list of our musical fetishes, isn't it? I like bass. Ooh, drums. Um, what, what, uh, what, attracts, I, what, uh, also, what attracts you? What attracts you to a band? I'm also very much a lyric person. Um, I like to be a bit of a deep. So there needs to be deep lyrics. Or, yeah. Or can it, <laughs> no, not necessarily like, can it be deep. Fun? Like, just, just, not necessarily and, uh, write, deep. And just write God. about things that you know. Writing about things that people don't usually write about. I mean, I think, that, I think the weird thing is, and I think you know, one of the most instant things about saying this must be, it's a terrible cliche, but probably about the Arctic Monkeys, was that you, know, you hadn't heard somebody writing in that style, not for a very long time. You didn't know what was coming next, and with some bands' demos, you know exactly what's coming next. In all sorts of fields, whether it's, whether it's hip-hop or uh, reggae or, or indie guitar music, you can sort of guess what these songs are going to be about, and there's nothing which, you know... Uh, John says, you know, there's eight million, it's been done eight million times before. Whereas you can write the same song that somebody's written, but if you write a different lyric which comes from your perspective, that's the one thing that can be different about that song. It's like a turn you, you, of you phrase. You can write the same guitar record that somebody's done 12 years ago, but it would be new and different if you write something new in, within the lyric. On the other hand, though, you could have the worst lyric in the world, but if it's sung by the greatest singer or a singer with a really interesting voice, it can sound great. I mean, like, No Fun by the Stooges is a very yeah. simplistic lyric, but it sounds mm. absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's harder to get away with yeah, now. Yeah, vocals are very important be. for me as well, uh, and an actual attraction to the voice. Uh, you know, I like, I like deep voices, but for some reason, don't know if we're talking about <laughs> our musical general, fetishes, general. yeah, <laughs> like bass voices, Hello, but also, Michelle. I, I, I love nothing <laughs> more than very voice. powerful female vocals as well. Um, not not really high and, you know, but really strong and powerful, yeah. Just, it just depends how it's like John said. It, it's completely different because everyone is different to each other, so there can't really be a set of rules. I do, I mean, I do think, and we see a lot of times bands sort of growing up and evolving. Um, there was a point where every band's demo sounded like uh, Radiohead's second album. At one point, there was the, um, there was the post cold demos, bands. Yeah. It's the indie folk bands at the moment, and there is obviously you're going to be the product of your influences when you start, but it's the next bit which is probably going to be interesting. You know, just keep experimenting and getting further away. 